There's a new statue on Rainbow Boulevard in downtown Niagara Falls that has been taking shape over the last few weeks, and it comes at a hefty price. Tonight, we're asking how it was paid for, considering the city's finances are so bad that there's talk of police officers' jobs being cut. Two on your side's Jeff Preval is in the falls, getting answers for us tonight. The sculpture in Centennial Circle on Rainbow Boulevard in downtown Niagara Falls is supposed to symbolize the unity between the U.S. and Canada. The controller for the city says the city council has spent more than $80,000 in taxpayer funds on this sculpture, and the state has spent more than a half a million dollars, bringing the total to more than $619,000. Falls Council Member Kristen Gredinetti served on a committee to bring the statue here. Do you think, though, that $600,000 north of that, whether that's all worth it? I'm a school teacher, and I believe that public art is part of quality of life. The money the state spent, which is from the Niagara River Greenway Commission, can only be used for beautification projects. I spoke to Falls Council Member Kenny Tompkins. I think it's just too much. We probably could have found other uses for that Greenway funds. We also heard from the sculptor of the project, who's based in Indianapolis and has done public art pieces across the country. This piece has a, nice, a lot of nice sweeping lines. It took forever to craft. There's a lot of love that went into that and a lot of work. But people, you know, that's, they're, that's, I give them all the right in the world to interpret it the way they want to interpret it. And Councilmember Tompkins says that $619,000, that is it. There is no more money that's expected for this project. Reporting from Niagara Falls, I'm Jeff Perral, Channel 2 News.